This is what we're baking today. Chocolate cupcake makes 10. 10 and it bakes in 12 minutes. All the little pixel go. I never really rate these very much, these cake mixes. I'd rather just do it myself, but give it a go, see what happens. I've just put the icing in for these cupcakes and it's not going too well. Put butter in, I don't think it was soft enough. I've tried using my little hand mixer. It's only a next one, but one day I will have a KitchenAid because that's what I really, really want. I'm going to try and mix this up. If it's a bit gloopy, it's a bit gloopy. I can always add some more icing sugar to it. Hoping to get the kids a sugar high before daddy comes home. Ho, ho, ho. I've just given it another whiz up and it's looking a little bit better, but I think I'm going to have to get the spatula just to get those little edgy bits in. It's not too bad. I've got very impatient kids here. Uh, super baking day today. I've got some banana bread in there because we ended up with a glut of bananas. Oh, smell. I tell you what, if you could do smell a vision, wow. We've just been to Tatnell today at night absolutely froze my behind off but I was really chuffed because I bumped into the lady who runs Knee Deep in Life on Instagram who's really really funny and Mommy. sorry what what did you say what? one feet what no. anyway yeah really cold but yeah bumped into Laura from Knee Deep in Life she does a really, really funny Instagram account, if you want to follow it. So that was a bit of a surprise. You know, like you recognise someone, you do a double take and you're like, hmm, I recognise that person. So that was really funny. But yeah, I told her to keep on doing what she's doing because it just made me chuckle. Recipe, recipe is on BBC Good Food, if you want to go and have a look on there. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to actually mention the recipe. So I hope I'm not going to get into trouble, but my goodness, this is absolutely delicious. But now, of course, we've got no bananas left and I'm really craving a banana as well as banana bread. I've just got a new dresser. This is IW Auctions. I absolutely just love it. I've wanted one for a very, very long time. There goes with the manifestation. I have to clean it. Um, and in order to put it there, to try and get this off as well which is interesting in order to put it there i've moved the trolley the craft trolley that we have which is really handy but it just got completely out of control and if you look on here this is basically the table the kitchen table and my partner keeps saying well when are you going to clear it up so i've got about 10 minutes before i have to go and pick up the eldest from horse riding i thought i'd give it a go oh and also there's the remote we've been looking for that <laughs> oops so wish me luck. And these are the drawers that go in. I have to actually tighten up a bit as well. I've washed all of these. And I'm going to just rearrange it a bit more. I still haven't got around to cleaning this. And this, I'm just literally putting the drawers back now. Much better than it was. I've cleaned the floor. I've cleared most of the table. Still can't find the remote, which is a bit of a concern. And I've just got this drawer apart and Da, da, da. Look at that. Not too bothered about spiders being a country girl, but even that was a bit of Okay, finally we have a clear table. Woohoo! Still a few marks I can't get off. I actually varnished this top. These are my old chairs that my mum had that I painted in Annie Slane. I can't remember, some kind of grey. Looking very well worn. If I had the time or the amenity, I'd probably get these dipped and redo them again. But hey, they're well used. I'm sure she'd be happy with that. And over here, I finished doing the trolley. So you've got stamps in the top, paints, paint brushes. This is just a mix of things like tape and stuff, mainly paints. Fairy doors and things that don't talk well, MDF stuff, I suppose. This is a butterfly feed. I can't remember where I got it from. Might have been Baker Ross. Anyway, we've already done one, and we're going to go and do another one. I think I'll get them to do that one too. It out. Butterflies. Just some bits here. Hammer and pin set. I haven't played with that. Just it was a gift. And I've even got some empty drawers, which is quite something. So I'm pleased with that. And 
and I've hoovered. I'm going to mop as well because it gets really mucky around the table. Probably move the table a bit more in. And this I'm still debating whether to, should I hoover it with a brush and then wipe it down with a damp cloth? Should I hoover it and then, oh, there's some bits in there. It's a surprise. Um, that's interesting. Hoover it and he probably lost a spec thing. Um, nose pad. Hoover it and polish it. What's the best way to go forward with this? Because that's the next thing I'm going to be doing after I've cleaned the floor. And the other thing is, have any of you guys got dresses and do you attach them to the wall? Because although this is fairly sturdy, I'm still a bit worried that it's going to fall down. So if anybody's got any tips, there is a, unfortunately an electric socket around, uh, behind here, not ideal. It's going to be a bit of a tricky one there. I mean, as I said, it's fairly sturdy, but I just, the anxiety in me is like, hmm. Oh, and Dad's just called me from the other room because his headphones aren't working because if he doesn't watch Antiques Roadshow, that's it. That, that, he, he doesn't know how to cope if he can't watch his Antiques Roadshow. So there you are. It is absolutely boiling today. The sun is out for a change. Look at that mess. I have to sort that out as well. Let me know below anyway in the comments what you'd use. Sugar soap is obviously way too harsh. Very dusty. Need some TLC. Yeah, look nice once it's done though. Don't know if I'll paint it or not. Not sure I will for the moment. Any of you who are stuck for things to do over the holiday with the kids, I got this from where did I get it from? Total, total wild, total born, total born wild. And it's really helpful because obviously it's got all sorts of different activities and you can cross them off. You can see we've done quite a few already. So we've done stuff like spot a shooting star, make a fairy garden. That's another thing actually I want to do with a fairy garden. I want to do a terrarium with live plants, but I'm not kind of sure how to go about it. And I'm not sure what plants I get. So it's a little bit difficult. Um, yeah, so playing autumn leaves, that will be one scene. And it came with the little magnetic holder as well. In fact, it puts me to shame because there's still quite a few on here that we haven't actually done. I think I might give these away. I'm not sure yet. Soup of the day. This makes me chuckle. My favourite people call me mum. Was that from Jack and Stripes? I can't remember. They do beautiful hand-painted signs. The one on the right. Always leave a link below if you're interested in that. I've got another one at their prints. Good morning. Excuse me, no makeup, but I'm not going anywhere today, apart from dropping my eldest off at Blackham, which we've just done. And the weather is, ugh. It is horrible. I just, I can't keep up with this summer at all. Yesterday was a heat, like a heat wave. Now we've just got this lovely sea mist, which I find very oppressive so there you go but honestly when it's like this you just don't know what to wear it's like yesterday I wore leggings and um I was really really hot and today I'm wearing shorts and I'm a bit cold just can't win um anyway this will be the last bit of the vlog for today I think I'm debating whether to take a break for the summer holiday because obviously I'm very busy with looking after the kids and they are the priority, etc. And that's probably about it really. I'm just going to go home. I still haven't cleaned the dresser. I will do that at some point. Um, it's a lot of activity in my kitchen from my dad's personal carers. So it makes it quite difficult to get in there. And I don't want to get in their way coming up to lunchtime. Well, I just hope that we get some sunshine. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you now. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Yeah, a cup of tea in the middle of the day in the height of summer. It's crazy. Do you drink tea when it's hot? Love to know what blends you, you drink. And might see you next week. Take care of yourselves.